Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out A Long Way Down. This is a, uh, a deck building roguelite uh, being developed by Synapsis Studio and published by Goblin Studio, who is sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is out today. And it's uh, basically, well, we get a bit of a story which explains, you know, what's going on here. But uh, according to the Steam page, a dark, uh, a roguelite RPG set in a dark and tormented world. So, um... I'm just going to let the game kind of do most of the explaining here because it does a pretty good job of it. Kind of eases us into whatever we are doing. So uh, let's go ahead and try the thing out and see what we can do. All right, we'll start up a new world here. And it'll ease us into the story and, you know, tutorial, that kind of thing. Sam, Sam, can you hear me? Says Mabry. Mabry, uh, I hear you. That means your soul hasn't reached its destination. My soul? Mabry, where am I? Well, your body is in front of me. I'm giving you your funeral rites. Spirits told me they found you too gray to lead you onward. That or too rebellious, I'm not sure. I'm dead? Yes, but that's the least of your concerns right now. I'm going to try to guide you through limbo. Spirits told me that some lost souls become complacent. I've convinced them to steal some weapons and bring them to you. Cards? You recognize them. We use similar ones. You should be able to face the lost souls as we did when you were alive. But here, you will do it while looking for them, looking them straight in the eyes. Papa Legba watch over me. Alright. So, um, we're going to assemble our, uh, party. It's just us right now, but we'll, we'll get more folks as we go into here. But here are, we are here in the, uh, in the broken dungeon, essentially. Try to find some cover. The place isn't safe. There's scary things running around all around. You know what happens if you get caught by a lost soul here in, uh, in Limbo. Here we are. We're going to mark our way, uh, through the path. We can go to the first spot. We can kind of just bounce around this way. First spot here is a bunch, a pile of slabs. Which we can use to build the dungeon as we as we go through. So I guess we're sort of uh, you can kind of call it a deck building roguelite as well. Cards can shape the world around you. So we have a, a hand here of cards we can use to uh, to build things. Oh, up, like like right here we can say put this card right there. There we go. So we can continue on. It's a little loud. Let me turn it down just a bit. A little loud. Let me turn background stuff down. I thought I turned you down before. All right. A little better. Okay, so we have a lost soul, an, an electric relic, hanging out in front of us. Let's go kill it. We got our stick and and, a, and some cards, and that's all we got. All right, so we have a, uh, a hand of cards that we can be using every round. You see, we got seven of them in our deck. We got three mana uh, against this guy over here. So a few of the things we can do. We have poke, which is sort of a... It's going to come back every turn. It's our basic attack, which will always be there. We have a thrust, which does a big damage. We have a, um, a banishment, removes all targets' blessings or buffs. We have a divine blessing, which gives me an additional attack uh, for 25% for two rounds. Sure. There we go. Use one of my mana up for that. And we also have thrust, 25 damage. Sure. Wha-bam. And then another thrust. Well, bam, he's these hit points up this way. He's going to smack me for 11, and that's basically it. I have my power boost. Didn't do anything terrible to me. Um, I just have poke, but it'll come back, so I can hit him, like, there, and parse. poke again. We can hit him again. And that's poke again. There we go. Easy. Easy. I can handle the tutorial, at least today, anyway. We get a bonus card. Every time you kill something, you get... I think it'll tell me here. There we go. Retrieve, uh, when you retrieve the cards dropped by the lost souls and add them to your deck on the appropriate altar. So it's not there yet, but when I find an altar, I can add that to my deck. Okay. Um, let's go uh, Let's go ahead. There's a guy hanging out uh, hanging out there. A lava altar. Let's go put this right there. See it kind of bouncing around over there. And we'll move on to the armor here. So this is where we can adjust things. So we have this card we just picked up. This blessed attack. We can tie it, add it into our deck. There, so we have an additional thrust added in. We can take things out if we want as well. Uh, we also have um, a bag which has different cards. That card would have been in there before. And uh, armor and things that we can add in that will add more cards and give us different boosts. You know how armor works. Alright, I see another soul near you. Uh, I see another soul near you. It doesn't seem hostile. Try to parlay with it. You have the same goal. Maybe you can join forces. Yes, yes. Let's build a party. Pop that guy right down over there. Hello, friend. I can almost make it to you. There we go. Hey, you lost too? Completely, says Marcus. Funny clothes. Where are you from? Roman Gaul. Aquitania. Sounds vaguely familiar. It must be in Europe. You're from Africa. Almost. And yet, we have no difficulty in understanding one, uh, one another. 
After life takes form to be convenient to the soul that crosses. That voice. That is Letus, god of death. Am I dead? Yeah, we're both dead. But the voice you hear is the voice of the one who is performing my funeral rites. She can speak to the dead, as I once could. Okay, we have a, uh, a helmet of the ram, which I think goes on to... Well, we'll just take it out of the box. We'll see where it goes. So we got me... And, uh, and Marcus here is now a part of my party. I have a, uh, a helmet of the ram in my bag, which uh, I guess I can throw on if I want at some point. At the armory, I could do that. But we can't right now. Um, you can see with uh, with Marcus here, because he has... Can we see this? Uh, yeah, so he has a helmet of the ram already on. He also has a diamond shield uh, and this uh, this, cop this kopesh. Um, uh, this one here. He has things. This healing, healing litany because of, I think, the helmet... And then Bug comes from the Diamond Shield, which gives him just little cards that get added into the deck or, or buffs of some kind. Here you are, says the Dungeon Master. You're the one who's uh, who has my cards. I thought I alone could use them. Thief, you will pay the price for messing with the Dungeon Master. Never mess with the Dungeon Master. This guy's using my cards against me, Mavery. I think he's the one the spirit stole them from. Get behind me, African. I have fought barbarian giants all my life. A bag of bones won't intimidate me. All right, let's see how a party fights. Okay, so, ouch. Same thing, we've got, um, yeah, yeah, help, help. So, Marcus here has different cards, mostly. So you can see his change, his, 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 uh, like his basic ones attack. His basic attack changes out. Uh, and the damage and things like that they, they do. We also have, the, we share the, uh, the mana each time. So, he's the big damage dealer he has. What's that doing to me? Um, I have a minus 30% power, so I can, hey, hey, you. Uh, he's kind of better all around, isn't he? I'm going to say, let's do this uh, penitent, uh, penitence, that's the word, and remove his debuff, and then we'll go divine blessing him. There you go, buddy, and we're going to select him, and we're going to go heavy blow. Which one? This is better. Thrust is better. Yeah. Well, bam. Okay. Oh, we got one more, don't we? Blessed attack. There we go. So we're just using him, letting him fight. I should have done that one first. Uh, we, ouch. That hurt a lot. Got him a bit of a buff. Uh, we can go back to me. Um, um, Sam over here, and we can, we can heal him. Like that if we need to. Uh, and then we're going to go back over here to Marcus. And I can do that again if I want to. I think, you know what? I think we just kill things. There we go. We got 11 left. Just kill things. No need to dilly-dally around with, with nonsense cards, which we can kill things. Okay, we got some powder, which we'll see why we use that in a minute. And we also have ourselves a new hat. I'm always up for a new hat. If any of Idy and Julius couldn't have done any better. Sam, you found some powder. You can upgrade your cards like I taught you. Use the altar right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, I just said that. Okay, let's go grab some more stuff over here, though, first. So over here, we can upgrade our cards. So like our thrust, for instance, we can toss that in there. Toss some powder into it. And... We have a better thrust. So there we go. All there is to it. Use all of our powder for that. Know what you're doing. Are you a priest? Uh, something like that. Mercury be praised. I'm sticking with you like a magistrate to a buffet. Oh, oh, oh Marcus is hilarious. Okay, let's move on here. There's more cars we could grab, grab down here if we need to grab more, uh, more, more of these kind of things. Um, I think maybe we're okay. Let's stop back in here real quick just to check. Um, oh yeah, so I can put either this Helmet of the Ram on me, which restores hit points to the target during two turns. Just gives me a healing card or a defensive attack. The damage of the caster is equal to the caster's defense. I don't have any defense. So, yeah, I'll take this one, sure. There we go. I could swap out Marcus as well if I, if I wanted to swap out with that one. Uh, but he's fine. And then because I added that on there, Sam now has this healing litany on him as well. And there's my new thrust card, which is, which is in my build deck. Okay. Um, next. Um, oh, you know what? I think I do need to go down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do need to go over here. Okay. Let's bounce over here. Sorry, sorry. Tutorial land. I, I, I gotta do certain things. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go away. Go over there. And let's go pick up these, uh, these extra cards. Got a pile of slabs. These give us wall destruction cards. Which, uh, which wouldn't you know it, we need it. Uh, we can go here. We can break this one. And just walk straight through. Like this. Continue to there. We'll break another wall. And we can continue on. Now, the Dungeon Master, look at him. Right, doing very helpful things, actually. Not just necessarily bad things, but 
He's taking my cards and using them against me, sort of. He just sort of randomly throws them out there. I'll take more slabs. Sure, we got another spot here. We can go grab more slabs. Why not? There he is. He's doing the same thing. He's going to throw my cards out there, which I'm not appreciating because I don't want to go that way. Grab some more cards. You can grab individual, like if you want certain ones, but I, th I think you can grab certain ones. I don't know why you wouldn't just take all of them. I guess it does overflow your deck, so if you have too many of them and you want something special, like we're stuck with these. We got six of them sitting behind doing nothing. Um, if I go to the campfire, I get healed. I don't need to. I just need to go here, though. No point in doing another fight. We're just in tutorial land. Let's just, um, just mosey on to the end of the dungeon. Maybe. Mosey on over here, and then, um, yeah. Something like that. And then like that. And then he's gonna do his thing. I was gonna use that card, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. Never been to Africa. Me neither. I was born in the Americas. I've heard of them. Must be in Asia. So, yeah, we're saying, yeah, yeah. Oh, Marcus, he ain't from this time. Success! We got ourselves a new magical scepter. Excellent. Deals damage to the target. This is a weapon that we can give to, uh, to, um, Sam here. You may have some nifty spells up your sleeve, but what you, what are you without your legionnaire? African! <laughs> okay. And away we go. We're on our own again. Sam, still there? Good. I think you're alone, more or less. That should mediate. You should mediate with me. Review your life. That's why you're here. You're born to a black mother and an unknown father. Listen to the songs of the sugarcane workers. You were mixed race. Amongst the blacks, thirsty for revenge, you were the whitest. If suffering shapes people, you were the most perfect of all. The ideal fertile ground for a life of conflict. Okay, tutorial over. Now we go into the proper game, into Dumbala's chamber. Welcome to uh, the chamber. You okay? Uh, not great. Take your time, prepare yourself before you continue. Deep, yeah, to head deeper in limbo, step on the green slab. Okay, so this is sort of our um, home base. We can go to the breach, which takes us back to various, um, takes us back to level, other levels if we want to, to, uh, well, go back in time to other like, you know what I mean. Uh, we also have a, a inventory stash over here so we can, like, toss on the old staff for us. Put a new hat on if we want. We can do some card upgrades if we want to do as well. We can move things out of our deck if we want to do that as well. Um, we can, if we had powder, we could do some card upgrading, recycling, all that kind of stuff. Can I recycle, like, um, what do I get if I do want to get one of these? No, no, I can't do it. Can I do it? I can. For nine powder. Hey, it ain't worth it. Clone cards if we want. All kinds of things we can do with powder if we actually had it. And of course we can go and we can do things with our weapons as well. And, and items. Our scepter. We can 200 powder and make it a better scepter if we wanted to. Um, but we don't. Because we don't have the powder. And then if we had more characters, we would see all of them there. Alright. To the green square. And into the proper game. Level 1. Alright. Kill this monster. Mini Paris. I see something ahead which blocks your path. You have to defeat this soul in order to continue. Alright, same thing. We got our cards. We got a whole bunch of them here and now. We got all kinds of things around. We got a fallen king over there who uh, we can kill. I mean, we can kill him. It might be a good idea to fight these things because we do get cards by killing them. Usually they're better than what we have. So, and there's a chest over that way. This is, I think, randomly... Yeah, this is randomly um, placed each time because this is certainly different than what I had first time. So, let's go and uh, let's go say hello to this guy. He looks friendly. Um... That one there, and that one there. Hello, friend. Say hello to my new staff. All right. So we've gotten a little bit better because we have a better weapon, right? So our strike is now doing not six damage. It's much better. Uh, let's start off with a... Uh, deals damage and increases my attack by for two turns. Let's do that one first. Take that. And we'll just use a couple thrusts here for 42. And then another 32. Take that. He's got four hit points. Ouch, he hit me for 41. This stays with me, so I gotta, you know, not take a whole bunch of damage. Like, if I could heal myself, I would. Yeah, I'll get 3%. I'll do that. Buff myself up a little bit. Um, I can't do more healing. We can banish, get rid of his, but he doesn't have any. So let's just kill him. Take that. Give me your cards. I'll take them. I got eight powder and an oxidant attack. 
deals a lot of damage to the target and decreases his defense by 10%. That's a good one. I'll take it. Now, again, I don't have it yet. It's in my my bag, but I need a uh, an altar to actually equip it, which is... Is that one of the altars? Sarcophagus. Pine treasure a bit, or bitter combat. There. There's an armory. Okay, we got to kill um, more monsters also. Oh, we got to activate the campfires too. All right. It's like a side quest. Let's go grab these these guys. Take all of you. Pawn King can curse its prey. Oh, I threw. Mm. All right. Uh, let's go. Mm. Let's go to that armory. Let's go here. Kill that guy. Get the armory. There's a chest over there, which is very enticing. But um, I'm gonna try to control myself here. No, that'll that'll do. Not really what I had in mind. There's the. Was that it? I think that's it. Oh, do new action point if I put it there. Um, yeah. Can I put you out? Oh, you put it on an existing square. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't see that one before. Let's go there. Walk up to this guy. Say hello. Same kind of guy? Yeah. He's got 100 hit points. All right. Um, we can heal myself. I think we go with this. Um, increase my defense for three turns. Yeah, let's try that. And let's do some damage. And uh, maybe a bit more damage. There we go. We got him down pretty good. Ouch. Plus an attack. Increases my attack. Let's just go do some penitence. And healing. There we go, and then we'll kill him. Whoops, that was two. Was that two? Did he use that one? Whoops. <laughs> Let's kill this guy. Um, take that. There we go. Okay, so maybe I miscalculated and got a little more damage. We should have gotten. We have another oxidant attack. Okay, I'll take it. More slabs as well that we're sitting here. I'll take him. Not really helpful. Um, ooh, what's that? That guy's a different different guy, isn't he up there? I'm, I'm curious about the sarcophagus, so we're going to beeline it to there. I recognize these writings on these walls. Other souls have already given form to this place, says the dungeon master. Shouldn't have changed when I came along. You're not that important. Uh, that's not what my mama says. Let's go over here. And over uh, this way. Pawn can hurt you over time. He has 175 hit points. Bring it on, Pawn. Alright. So, I would like to heal myself, but I'm going to go with this Divine Blessing. Same old routine here. There we go. And a bit of that. He's a short little guy. That is two hit points for that. Do I have... Oh, here we go, here we go. Perfect. Just a basic heal. Yeah, 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 perfect. And then uh, the blessed attack. And we could do... Oh, uh, that's too much, but we could just do a... Let's just hit the guy. We don't need defense. What's he put on me? This is, this is, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Um, probably should get rid of that. Or we could just kill the guy. Does he give me turns? Does he give me hit points right now? I kind of want to not have the guy around another turn, though, so let's just kill him. There we go. See if this ticks one more time. No, it does not. Okay. Alright. So, you can see our missions are this. We can have our inventory. So, these are sitting in my pack, but I can't use them yet. Because I haven't got to a, uh, a, a an armory yet. So, you're a lucky guy. A magical scepter. I already have one of those. I need another one. Is that the same thing that I have right now? Magical Scepter. Uh, where's my uh, my person? I got to go into... Uh, here it is. Yeah, it's the exact same thing as what I have. I guess I can break it down and uh, and get some, some powder out of it. Portal, leave the area without losing your backpack. Yeah, if you die, you lose items that are on you in some way. Uh, what are we trying? We have to kill this big boss man. Where is he? Is that him right there? No? Where is he? Yeah, he's hiding back that way. All right. Let's go, um, uh, more treasure over there. 
This gives us a fallen king. We don't want him. Oh, there's a wall there. Okay, over here. And then we can get to that armor if we want to. Fight somebody else for it. That would give us our new cards. Let's do it. Okay, we got our new cards we can add in here. There we go. And there they are. Okay, I'll take them. I'll take them. New staff. Uh, nothing I really do with it. So. I'm just going to leave this guy. You know what? I don't need to fight you. Oh, they put the Fallen King card out. Coming after me. Work our way up to this treasure. That's not what I want to do. It's right there. Okay. And here he comes. So if, if he runs into me, they get to attack first. If I run to them, I get to attack first. So I probably should have fought him. Oh, well. Ouch. Let's try this, uh, this fancy attack. Anything better, though? Yeah, let's do that one. Gives me a defense bonus, right? Yeah, or it hurts his defense. That's right. Penitence uh, removes my cursors and gives me a bit of hit points. Now we'll just hit him. Almost have him down. I'm trying to get a little hurt here. We visit a campfire. Here we go. Okay, powder. Another one of those attacks. Excellent. I'll stop by this chest here and we'll call it a day. Let's see what we got. We got um, feather feet. Ooh. Heals everyone for 10. Ooh. I'll take it. I'll take it. I want to put it on my feet, but I can't. But I will as soon as I find myself a, a spot to stop. So we have a big boss man over here, but uh, we're going to call it a day here. So this is a long way down. It's available on Steam today. Thanks again to Goblin Studio and Synapse Studio for sponsoring this video, and I will see you next time.